The first is pertaining a ruqya and lowing. Uh, yes, after you recite, like the Prophet ﷺ used to collect his palms while he was going to sleep, for instance, and recite the three mu'awwidhat, the whole set, once it all together, al-ikhlas, qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq, qul a'udhu bi rabbil nas, then blow in his palms and wipe with it over his head, face, and body, as far and as much as you can reach by your hands. You can do the same when you give ruqya to others. Using saffron and water, you can recite certain ayat, ayatul kursi or surah al-fatiha, whatever you can read of the Qur'an on a water, then drink it, or make wudu out of it, or shower out of it, that too is permissible. Writing certain, writing those verses in or Surah Al-Fatiha or Ayat Al-Kursi uh, with saffron instead of ink, soaking that in water and drinking this water, that too is useful and prescribed and is used as a mean of ruqya.